Okay guys, hello, I'm Loxley, and I'm here today playing the Star Sling Prince, an RPG Maker game made by Ronov, or Ronov, well, however pronounced. To start off a new year of being on YouTube, I figured that on this fine day of February 14th, 2013, Valentine's Day, I started with playing a happy game, doing my first, take my first steps to being a gaming commentator. So, well, hopefully this will be a happy game, right, from music and it's pretty happy, pretty, well, almost sad, but enough that, let's start. Okay, um, controls, don't care. Start. Uh, watch the trail. <laughs> oh, okay, all that's just read this out. Once upon a time, there lived a prince, a prince whose kingdom thrived, away from the world, beyond the stars, beyond the flames that destroy, under the flakes of snow. In this kingdom, the subjects are one with the prince. If he is happy, they are happy. If he is sad, mad, or confused, they are sad, mad, or confused. Um, it's pretty repetitive, but okay. Such is the way of this kingdom. As of late, the prince has found himself sad. Try as he might, he cannot hide it. Not from his subjects, not from himself. This cannot go on. What is wrong, I wonder? It all began with a dream. Dreams that full dreams. Of something. Of nothing. At the same time. Burning snow. We begin our tale. With his return. Okay, that was pretty informative. I got a nice little background information about the whole game. Somewhat. Okay, I guess this is the town I'm gonna start off in. So far, my god, I'm the prince of a kingdom, and this is the uh, village I rule. Whew. So, where am I? Oh, okay. Is that me? The one with the black hair. Ooh. Snowman just hanging over there by the castle. So kids around making snowmen. <clears throat> oh, we got a change of music here. Is something wrong, your majesty? No, nothing's wrong. I was just giving thanks that the kingdom's still here. Was there any worry you would go away? Haha, <laughs> probably not. My mother always gave thanks whenever we came back safely from exploring. Ah, she was always a spiritual one. Shall we head off to the castle, your majesty? You can go on ahead. I want to see how everyone's doing. Are you sure? Definitely. Yes, your majesty. Okay. Oh, all the gods worry too much. Finally, I get some peace to myself. Okay, so... Yeah, I get to control my character now. Let's see, go to the village, talk to the townspeople, ask about their lives, maybe do a few quests from them, save their lives, all that. Okay, so where's is there anyone nearby I can talk to? No? Okay. Oh, there's one. Disappeared again. Where are you? Oh there you are. Come to my inn, it's wonderful. Great rooms for the time away from the kids. If you know what I mean. Well, that's a little inappropriate, but okay. Kids, go. Wow, don't talk to me now. If I'm talking to you, that means I'm not moving and it'll catch me. I'm sorry. Uh, can I talk to the little boy? Hello, Prince Note. Oh man, if you're talking to me, that means you'll get behind me and tag me. My plans are foiled. I'm sorry, Francis. Um, okay, I'll just leave you. Two children to playing tag. Excuse me. Okay. Ooh, weapon shop. Can I buy weapons from you, sir? 
Welcome to my armor corner. Do you want to look at my- Hey, sire! <sighs> you don't need this stuff. What you have is my best work. Is it? We do business just fine, so don't you worry at all. Thanks for coming by, though. It means a lot. Thank you, sir. I like you. Oh, hello, Prince Snow. I'm sorry, but that mace you have is the best I have to offer. I'll let you know when we make something better. Seeing you walk around makes me smile, though. Just like the Lake Queen. Always checking up on us. Well, you're such a nice lady, Sharon. I like you. I like these old people. They're all nice. Can I... Can I steal any of your stuff? Teddy bear, are you kids? Oh, must be your kids outside then. So Francis and Lily? I don't know. Um, can I steal any of your books? Any gold anywhere? Uh, nope. Clock? Can I steal your clock? Check the time whenever I travel around. Uh, books? No, I can't steal your books. Do you have anything on your bed? Any... no, no gold? <coughs> Clothes? Should probably shouldn't take it further, that's a bit rude. Oh. Well, I'm the prince, so I can do whatever I want. So where is your shit? Okay, you have nothing here. You're all useless, I hate you all. Anything here? Okay, so... Let's just find another house to hopefully get some treasure out of. Sister! Yo! Welcome back, Prince Snow. It always warms me up when I see you visiting around town. You remind me very much of your mother. Oh, you're such a nice lady, Catherine. Okay. Sister, you got shit around? Nope. Nope. Okay. Can I steal anything from your books? Can I take these books by religion? Nope. Can the Bible hang around anywhere? Anything useful in here? Nope. Nope. Okay. Well, sister, you ain't got shit. Okay, so, can I, let's go to this house. Okay, so, hey, lady. Good afternoon, Prince Snow. I'm happy you came back. My son's tending the store right now, so if you want anything, please ask him. Oh, okay. Can I take any of your stuff? Hey, you came back. Well, I guess that's a given if you left for good. That would have been pretty cool of you. Did you want to buy any um, eh, buy any items? Sure. Oh, uh, I'll take this tonic, this antidote, two more tonics, just to be careful. In case some monster just come running through the town, causing havoc everywhere, killing a few villagers, maybe kidnapping children. Can I talk to you? How are you, Dominic? Okay. Oh, you're back already. Welcome back. It would be nice if you could take some of us with you when you leave. We all get cooped up sometimes. I'll remember that, Dominic. Okay. Um, can I go through this door? Yes, I can. You got any shit around, too? Any crap? Hello, sire. It's good to see you at your back. I have something prepared to welcome you back, but you see, I seem to be a terrible baker. Are you? Oh, well, uh, okay, so... Let's see, can I remove any of your stuff? Why oh, do you got a child here? Who is she? Who are you? Trilby, that's your name. Prince Snow, did you have any fun on your trip? I wish you could take us kids sometime. We'd love to go exploring with you. Okay, nothing interesting to say. Let's go, let's get out of here. I have enough of these houses with nothing lying around for me to loot. Okay, so let's just head up to the castle. First, let me talk to the statue. It's a healing statue, let's pray. Okay, um, no, I'm not talking to you. You're all boring. Okay, let's go head to the castle. Okay, to restore. Welcome back, sire. I believe Richard has been looking for you since this morning. He should be in the throne room now. Thank you. I'll go there now. No doubt he has a few words to share with me. It's a nice castle. 
quite like the layout of it. Print snow. <laughs> hey, I see you didn't let the kingdom go up in flames while I was done. Good job. Why were you gone for so long? Didn't you tell me that you'd be back by the time the sun came up? It's almost dusk now. Well, we lost track of time, so I had to set them up camp. It wasn't that cold, really. How far did you go? You didn't go past the bean forest, did you? Stop being such a bother. I came back alive, didn't I? That doesn't matter. You aren't just a prince anymore. Your parents left you this kingdom. You had to start taking it seriously. And I am. Father used to always go out to explore and would come home randomly. Why is it different for me? There was still your mother. Now that we've only got you, we need to be more careful. And I am fine. Look, I'm very tired. I'm just going to head off to bed now. What? What about your duties? Well, everyone in town seems to be happy. What did you want me to do? Ha, huh, I knew it. You're just being a pain on purpose, aren't you? You need to start taking this seriously. Seriously. You don't want the kingdom to fall now, do you? And it won't. You can finish yelling at me in the morning, alright? Fine. Tomorrow we should continue this talk. I'll be all yours tomorrow, I promise. Good night, Prince Now. Make sure the king doesn't fall out, fall when I'm sleeping. A little humor there. I think that Richard got my advisor to the king. Uh, so let's go to my bedroom up here. Um, oh, there. Nope, not 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 that one. Let's go here, here. Okay, we'll move out of way, guard. Okay. All right, time for some sleep. Sleeping on the ground is not good for my back. I should get out of these clothes and into my night clothes, and I can crawl into bed. Yep. Now let's see. What's in here first? Oh my. Oh my night clothes. Okay. Let's change. There we go. All comfy. Now to get in bed. Okay, let's get in here. No. Oh uh, yep. This way. Yep. Sleep. I'm tired. I'm a tired, sleepy prince. Ashes to ashes, all blown away, all snow now, all snuffed out, under the flakes. Oh, did you notice me now? You've been asleep most of the night, and you still you haven't no even noticed me. Why can't I get up? You're asleep, that's why. Oh, well, um, what are you? I don't know. This is your dream. Haha. <laughs> I guess it is. It still doesn't make any sense to me. Dreams often don't. Though, your voice sounds familiar. Did I know you when I was a kid or was that some other scarecrow? Well, what? What other scarecrows did you talk to? And what scarecrows do you know that can talk? Okay, whatever. It might have been me. I've been trying to talk to you for a long time now. You're a little creepy. You're a stalking scarecrow. I'm a little disturbed by that. Or each parents really don't like me. You, I, I would think so. If your scarecrow is going to eat your child, I think they have a right to feel worried. Well, if you don't need me, I can talk to you. Did you know my parents? Did you ever look at them? What do you mean? You have your mother's eyes. It's very creepy. Well, excuse me, stalking scarecrow. Can't you close them or something? She should be so terrible, I think. Were you there too? I don't think so. Um, what's wrong with the world? What's wrong with you? <laughs> I don't think anything is at the moment. No, no, I mean the world. Not here. Out there. I'm not following. And that's it. Wait, I think I missed something. Away. Away they took her. Alone. Alone. Up there. Your parents did. You were there, weren't you? Hold on, I didn't catch that. I think. I think you're waking up. 
I think you're waking up. I think you're waking up. I think you're waking up. Okay, it's getting a little repetitive. Um, where am I? Or not? I lied. I think we can get up now. Wait, where is this? Are you stupid or something? It's your dream. Why don't you get up and look around? I have something for you, if it'll make you feel better. Just come down the north path. What are those lights for? For your birthday. I dare say I'm a few months late. Why don't you get moving now? You're trying my patience. Jeez, alright. Okay, so... Let's let's try to find a way out of this place. Let's turn it back to the real world. Footprints. Is there anyone here? Whoa, who's that? Oh my god, who is she? Is she okay? It's your dream, you idiot. She's fine for now. Just a little mannequin with glass eyes, glass head, glass feet. Why is she here? I don't think I've ever seen her before. So quick you are to forget a witness. Maybe. I know. I'll eat her up just like I promised your dear mother and father. Oh. So, you're an eating, human eating, stalking scarecrow who's really creepy. Okay. I'm starting to get the hang of this now. <laughs> what, what, what? Or wait. I know. I'll burn her limb from limb. Make her a pile of glass ash. She's locked away somewhere high and she'll be trapped. You're, you're starting to become... A psychopath in here. <laughs> then I'll be able to eat her. Do you like that? Stop it, right now. What the hell are you talking about? Maybe I should burn you and hang your lifeless body in front of your wonderful parents. Whoa, whoa, dude. That was uncalled for. Yes, it's all your parents' fault. I will find her and eat her, limb from limb, and then I'll eat you. And burn everything, just like they did. I promise you that, my little prince. Oh, man. This doesn't feel like my bed. Why are you sleep on the floor? Did you move around while you are dreaming? It's not. Ugh, what a dream. You creep me out so much. I don't even know why. It's just a dream. Oh well, I guess. I have to get down to the throne room soon, or Richard's gonna get angry again. Still a little change in here? And so the prince was home, and back to the duties he had forsaken while he explored. However, his mind was entirely on his duties. As one can imagine, a dream such as that does not leave a person quickly. He tried to hide his discomfort, but the images kept coming back, and he was having trouble concentrating. He couldn't forget those flames, and the girl, though she was just a fuzzy image now, she looked so familiar. Sire, I propose making room in the library in which we can hold the school lessons for the children of Sabine and have an extra study. Sire, what's wrong? Nothing's wrong. And that will allow for the magic helpers to also have a room of their own, so they do not bother library assistants with all their- You can't hide that from me. Did something bother you in the night? I said nothing's wrong. Your father didn't think much for the library, only as a place to house histories. But I feel we should expand upon that idea, like your mother had planned. The library! Uh, yes, your majesty? You're brilliant! Oh, thank you, sire. I always had a feeling it was but coming from you. It means a lot. What's wrong, your majesty? I'm going to the library, and I don't want to be disturbed. I have something I wish to look up. Oh, let me announce that to the assistants. They would love to give you some help. Snow, what's wrong? Nothing's wrong. I just had a peculiar dream that's been bothering me. I will let you know what my search in the library entails if it's relevant. A dream? You're supposed to tell me when you have a dream. Did you forget what your mother told you? A dream is just a dream, right? Now leaving me for the time being. A dream is gonna kill me. Um, I don't know about that. You have a stalking scarecrow in your dreams. And I think it must be having quite 
frequently and you're just forgetting all of these things, but okay. As you wish, your majesty. Well, I think that's a good way to end my first day, my first video. I'll just leave it off here. If you guys have any comments or feedback, just let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, please like, give it a thumbs up, favorite it if you want. Um, I'll be appreciative if you have any suggestions for me to make this video better, because I'm planning on hopefully getting some more videos out, improving myself as a commentator for these things. And if you have anything you want to criticize on, I'll be more than willing to read them and see if I can improve myself. So, stand up here. I'll see you guys soon.